But we start with an update from the ABC 15 investigators. The Phoenix Police Department just announcing they will begin to implement changes with their new use of force policy early next year. And the department says all sworn employees will go through a two day, 20 hour training program on that new policy. Now, this comes as we await the final report from the Department of Justice, which has been investigating Phoenix police for more than two years. ABC 15 investigator Nicole Grigg joining us. And Nicole, use of force, one of many things the DOJ looking at involving Phoenix police. That's right. And Phoenix police making clear today in their press release that this new policy was drafted with input not just from the community and officers, but input from the DOJ as well. For nearly the past year, we have reported on the draft policy that was put together and the opportunities for the public to weigh in. The department revised their original draft policy several different times. With the latest draft, we told you about this past summer, it brought several changes under reporting use of force that only says employees are required to submit an incident report, whereas the initial report said they had to submit an accurate incident report. It also now says use of force must be objectively reasonable, necessary and proportional, whereas the initial draft did not include the word objectively. The department releasing their own video about the work that went into this new policy. It's a policy that the department can be proud of that is built off best practices and standards from around the nation. It really is the community and the department's policy. Everybody has had a say in what's gone into this thing. This policy, which is based on feedback from inside and outside the department, will guide their use of force in the future. Whether it leads to any significant improvements or not remains to be seen. I'm investigator Nicole Gregg, ABC 15, Arizona.